Hey guys, it's me, Zell, and we are here with another episode of Andor. We'll be continuing with episode four today, Aldhani, whatever that is. Location, person, I don't know. We're gonna find out. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited. We obviously ended the three episode released on the same time chunk for Andor, and you know, there's a slow buildup you know, especially episode one and two were a bit slower. And the third definitely wrapped it up all together. Ending on, you know, exciting notes, more, most importantly, and or running off with this new person, Luthen, I believe, um, who was basically like their black market person that Bix was um, in contact with. He finds that Cassian and or is more important and valuable than what he was previously trying to sell him, which were those, these coordinates, this stuff, words that I can't remember, but you know, map coordinates, things that the empire wouldn't, imperial folks wouldn't track. Anyways, you know, basically and is important. They want him, they got him, he's, he's running. He's gotta get out because he murdered two people and we're gonna see what they're up to. So I'm excited, hope you are too. So let's get to it and or episode four. Let's check it out. They called us oh, up. ouch. They went behind us, except for old Donnie. His hand Thank makes you. my hand hurt. So they're stealing money? We're in Coruscant. Fancy. Why does she look familiar? Increase across the Ryloth sector. Ryloth. Any further erosion in local authority may require an increase in our Ongoing. black language. As is your unfinished memorandum of recommendations regarding the problem. My staff is awaiting an assessment from Avala Six's ministerial. Because director. they've done such an excellent job so he far. He is hmm? done with everyone's BS. Well, what do we do we here? Tried to serve a warrant and ran into more trouble than they'd anticipated. Trouble meaning what? There it Several is. Dead, property damage, interruption of service. A stolen Imperial Star Park. There's an increase in construction shipments going to Scarif, sir. Scarif. My brain having trouble tracking all that stuff. I'm recognizing these names, but I'm struggling connecting the dots. It's a Quartet Signet. Blue Kyber, Skystone. The ancient world. It celebrates the uprising against the Rakatan invaders. I want it back when this is over. Oh, you're going to try to fly out of here? Caught. Something I can help you with. We've been eating roots and sleeping on rocks for this rebellion, and now you've got a mercenary on board! We'll take him in and lie about how it's come to pass. You plug him in as a replacement for anyone who goes down along the way. In the next three days, if for any reason- Look at me! You wanted to leave! To. Whoa. you got three days. Something very, very, something very, very high risk. Yes. High risk, high reward. Ooh, I'm excited what the mission could be. To the transfer center. Oh. Be any personal items in said Ferrix incident. Question, sir. No. Nope. But I've had nothing to do with this. Well, exactly. It I took feel bad for him. ingredients of idiocy, ineptitude, and total disengagement. As of this morning, the Milana system is under permanent imperial authority. Oof. What is gonna happen to this dude? If you're armed, something I need to worry about. We're robbing the armory at the Aldani garrison. There's an imperial airfield nearby. Wow, they're like bank robbers. So, hey, hold please. on, hold on. Get down, tuck in! That was good hearing for him. Especially when they were behind them. Doing some self-care. Wow, that is some nice spa treatment. Is he supposed to be some rich person? Is he a senator? Wow. Wow, fancy. You've been here, what, just over a year? You might want to steady the ladder before you start climbing. Uh-oh. I'm not looking for career advice. Fine. I'll take it to Major Particas. Don't look down. Oh, snap! 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Where's the seventh one? Oh, cute! Whoa! What's she doing? We've always known we were short a man. Can I speak with you? Let's get Clem settled in. Good to have you, Clem. We'll take all the help we can get. Oh, he's the sweet Cinder, little baby. Feed him. And then take him. He's so sad. I have a little bit of sympathy for him. Mother. Aww. What are you staring at? His bags. Here he is. He's gonna be fancy. Senator Mon Mothma's here. <gasps> oh. New driver. Senator. What a pleasure to Aww. see you. You as well, Luke. And sorry to be so late. So, a gift for your husband. Yes, it's his Dave Days. It's a uh, Chandra and Custom. So let's start with the oldest one. It's a Udapawan Monk Cudgel. You see the ceremonial variety in many places, but so he's a, a treasure for the true aficionado. If you can't deliver, I need to know. Do you think I'm not trying? I never think that, but I need to start there paying it is. if you're no longer coming through for us. The money's there. Have at the bank? They're all new faces. Oof. We've got a new driver. I feel under siege. I found someone I think can help me. Someone who? To bring into the circle? No. I know what I'm asking. No. Ooh, that's beautiful, though. I love we get to see this perspective for them. How much they put on the line. How much stress, constant stress they're under. Now? Well, uh -oh. getting cleaned up. And we've no say in this? It's not a boat. It's not I love the intensity they do to draw into what people have to sacrifice. So much nerves. Oh, beautiful. That's a big boy bonsai. What's all this? Got her husband. Poor governor. Bars, Danga, Slymore from the Vizier's private chamber. Oh, I'm serious, these people hate me. They spend every day trying to undo anything I've touched. Well, perhaps tomorrow they'll think twice. No, not right now, please. Go. Oh, I've taken Do care of that. You're at the boring end of the table. These people are fun. Who are uh, they? Are they fun? See how amused you know how many will starve? Perhaps we can laugh about it over the third course. Perhaps you should have a rest. That's Rumi, not... you bought me a present. It's going back. Must everything be boring and sad? Arctic what an interesting the interaction. The Empire came in 13 years ago. <sighs> Those were TIE fighters we saw on the way in. How far is the air base? From the garrison. You need Lockley to make the horizon. It's a He's smart. Exactly. The Eldanis gather in this valley for a celestial event they call Makani Bredani. So they're going to use the, the crowd? The 50 meteor showers all at once. Beautiful. Like a curtain beam pulled across the sky. It's a recurrent band of crystallized noctilucent microdensities. Billions of crystals, very heavy, but small and unstable. So he's and their the nerds, the belt, genius. They swarm the atmosphere, Are up. you in all the way? Okay. Let's get to it. She's demanding the raw data from the incident on Ferrix. The They're like tattling. The Dad! has been traced to a theft at an airbase under my Sir. jurisdiction. It is my feeling that this is part of an ongoing effort to steal proprietary imperial equipment in anticipation of an organized rebellion. feeling? I'm seeing signs it's of not their job? activity over a number of sectors. What activity? Alert me when this materializes into something more definite. Until then, confine future activities to your sectors. Thank you, Lieutenant. That sass walk he does out. You have two sectors to supervise. You're supposed to be more competent and tucked away. That's why you're here. Let's remind everyone of that and not get lost in the dust. Yes, sir. That's an Aldani phrase book. You got homework, bud. Gotta catch up. Three days time. Can I eat my food? Think you're just gonna hang around? You gotta do homework. You gotta prep. A lot of intrigue in this. You know, the ball's rolling. We see now Luthen wanted him with his skill set to assist these folks with a really already risky mission. He has flying piloting experience and he has familiarity and obviously exposure to multiple languages assuming he has the capacity to pick up these skills relatively quickly since he has a little bit of everything mixed up
again, a big part of this episode I felt, well, that I appreciated was showing the tension and the weight that everyone's feeling. The seriousness that sometimes I don't think we have the time to appreciate and realize that these characters, the risk they're taking, like Mon Mothma, for instance, she's under extreme, like, she has eyes on her already. She is in a position of power. She's in the government. So she's going to have a lot of people against her. She's already against people because she's fighting for the people, not typically in the same imperial direction, right? And now she's having to, you know, interact with Luthen, who I'm assuming he must be also somebody that's wealthy. I don't know if that's a facade he's playing. He obviously put on the wig, but clearly they're in this setting and they're interacting and trying to get intel and information, but everything's very, very risky. They're, they're in the heart of this city where like they're based out of, right? Coruscant, Imperial Reign. They got eyes around them. They gotta be careful how and when they speak. Then you have this, the seven, these crew who are trying to break into a garrison, break into an Imperial base, steal money. And they're looking for this tiny window, which they're gonna be in this little jankety pew pew car. And they're like, we're gonna be against fighter planes. I'm spacing the world, the word. Imperial. They're in this thing against like full on planes that can explode them. And they're like, and I didn't quite piece it together, but they're looking for this little gap of time, which they're going through this eye with meteors collide together. What are they using it? Is it like a visual distraction? Does it change the lighting in the sky? Is it like create this teleportation? Like, that's the part I didn't catch as their getaway, but obviously something very, very unique. Oh yeah, and then also on a more subtle note, I'm spacing his name, but the corporate security officer in a different way is feeling the tension, the weight of everything he sacrificed to go with this gut feeling instinct and digging into something that he felt personally responsible for. Not, not as responsible for, but obligated to want to figure out because he's like we can't let them push us around they got away with killing two of our corporate officers we're gonna dig into this and he had support of other guy who had the same idea but his boss is like leave it be we're gonna cover this up don't dig into it you know lo and behold didn't work out as planned and now all their big old grandiose idea of taking down Cassian and walking away and being like, look, we caught them. Blew up in their face, literally, lives lost, money spent and wasted. Then he has the whole deal with he literally not only lost his job, he lost his companion, his colleagues' jobs, and he completely wiped the corporate power in that sector, that area, and Imperial is taking over. Talk about the weight and shame you must feel and the guilt. Now, they're obviously honing in and, and visualizing this and showing how much he's feeling really crappy. I'm curious how that'll play. Is he going to try to join? I know I don't think he's feeling really happy with the Imperials right now. I don't know if I can see him joining that. Initially, I thought he would. He had the ambition, but it's not going to look great in his record to try to join as an officer. Probably not. Is he going to feel a personal vendetta to go after Cassian and look do everything in his power to find him? Maybe, maybe that's where they're leading. I don't think, it doesn't make sense to me, at least in this moment, that he would be like, oh, I hate the Imperial, they did this, I'm gonna join the counter, which is the rebels. I don't know, it's not quite to that level. So anyways, I'm curious what direction they're gonna push him into, but I just like that they did a subtle, like they're showing the perspective of all these players in play and the kind of weight that they are dealing with, like the seriousness, right? The behind the scenes, the things that we don't see in the movies that are those inner, those moments of when they're actually interacting with the counterpoints are interacting and we're seeing that content. No, we're seeing the behind scenes before that, the planning, the risking, the nerves, the, the ambition, the failures, we're seeing all that build up. So I appreciate for that, you know, it's a different take and a different pace. We've seen Star Wars, which is more very action fixated, very um, big, 
showstopper moments. So far, we've only really had one episode of that. I mean, we had the murders in episode one. Episode three was the big stuff. And, you know, these other otherwise, most of it was these subtleties, the conversations, the body language, the emotions, the um, intuition, the, you know, the feelings we're feeling of understanding. Yeah, it, it, I would be feeling that way too. So it's definitely enjoyable. Um, it's it's a different tor side of feelings. It's, 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 it's a different feeling. I'm not getting the words right. Anyways, I'm just appreciating this show. It's fun that we'll get to see this expanded out. I'm curious more what the garrison, the, what the bank heist is going to look like. That's what I'm going to call it. And obviously a little bit more into like Luthen and Mon Mothma's Mon Mothma. I always get her name wrong. Um, that side of it's intriguing. Oh, so my question after leaving this episode is, who is Mon Mothma's mystery person she wants to join their efforts? Um, also, interesting relationship with her and her husband. Clearly, they're not on the same page. She's like, yeah, so we're gonna bring your, my, these, your friends who are basically countering all these efforts, closing lines, and these they're, these people are starving because they're depending on these routes. And we're gonna be in, in enjoying our multi-course meal. And he's like, oh, everything's so boring with you. And she's, so she has to deal with that. She's like, yeah, I'm sorry it's boring, but I care about people's livelihood. So sorry, that's not fun for you. You're living in a multi monies building fancy clothes you're having dinner parties sorry you're not entertained enough darling so anyways that was just my little rant about that but um i don't know if i see that marriage lasting much longer by the way they are interacting there but that's my question is the mystery person and what this garrison heist that'll be really cool to see and a little kind of subtle question is Luthen and his gallery gig. Is that what he initially was? Is this his cover? Yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I had a lot of fun watching and I hope you did too. And if you have any thoughts or things I missed, there was a lot of name drops of planets and locations, sectors. Feel free to fill it in in the comments if you don't feel it's a spoiler for future stuff. Also, if you want to support the channel, best way to do is that. If you enjoyed this video, give the video a thumbs up and a like. That'll be great. And if you want to support me again, I already said that, hit that subscribe button because that'll let you know when the videos go live. Sometimes things aren't scheduled exactly perfect, so subscribing will alert you when the video is up and it'll remind you it'll be there. And hey, it doesn't hurt to uh, do that. Yeah, I'm great promoting myself anyways guys thanks so much for being here it was really great i appreciate you guys hope you're enjoying andor and the channel and in the meantime stay cool have fun and i'll see you on the next one